Got another box, guys. It, it's actually the same box. It is. You, you, it's, it's, it's a magical box. You have to find this box. It's a never-ending box of goodies, man, of comics. Um, I think we're the only ones that acquired this box, so just stay tuned, man. We got a massive haul. No, hoax smash the like button, okay. share the channel, all that good stuff, and let's begin. So let's give a quick little backstory about this. This box is full of comics. It, it is, man, and and the way this happened is a few weeks back, uh, we were in Dallas. Um, yeah. We had gotten out there. We really needed to go pick up some stuff, drop off some stuff to to some of our peeps out there. We had, I think, Sensaro. We needed to drop off some stuff. Sensaro. Combo flipping. Uh, flipping. <laughs> Uh, our buddy too. If you guys don't don't know, he he's on our on our uh, Instagram silver guy. Yeah. Um, Sack. Oh, I need, sorry, Sack. I said your name, bro. Uh, so we need to meet up with him, pick up some stuff from him. It, it was just a big circle of of going around Dallas. Worked out for us. And then during oh, that we, time, and we saw we saw a massive collection. a massive collection. But we passed on the collection. Yeah. Uh, we got a lead through one of our buddies. Um, but we also got. Leads to, to books, to comic books, man. And, and and we went hunting. We're in we're in a different city, and, and you know we're gonna go hunting. You know we somehow we managed to do all this crazy stuff and still manage. It was a long day, man. Yeah, to hunt. And I mean that's why like this is back to back videos. I have the big boy today, man. So we get the energy going, and that that day was long, man. And yeah. then after that, I think that's kind of when we kind of phased out. So I think it yeah. was a Dallas. It was Dallas. These dirty, dirty people over there in Dallas with. With that COVID nineteen man, um, it's the last time I go out there. Nah, we'll be back. So let's show what we picked up, guys. Again, this is this is a lot of books. Um, most of these books, I don't think you've seen any of these books really, because this is just we've been selling them for quite a while. So it's time to show them off, guys. Um, so I'm gonna start just pulling books out, and you know, let's, let's show off the goodies, man. Yeah, we'll start off with like a, a few books, and then it gets it, it's it's great. Uh, so right off the bat, you know, big old spawn head, always trying to just plug in, you know, plug in holes here and whatever the case is. So, you know, right off the bat, we start with, you know, spawn 250. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a young variant, dope ass cover. Um, again, you know, this is just a cool damn book. And aside from that, you know, um, anytime I find spawn, especially in those numbers between, you know, 150-ish to like 270-ish, I always try to pick up those books. So you have that cover for sure. Then I also found... Uh, Spawn 270. Ooh, I'm showing a lot of books. Um, Spawn 272. It's gonna be the the black and white variant. Again, you know, it's just a dope looking cover. Um, and again, it's just in that in that range where I'm always just looking to load up. And, um, and the place that we got these books, man, they're uh, they're sharp looking books, man. Yeah. The, the, I'm not gonna name the the place, man. Uh, That's for us to know. Don't need you guys going where we go, nope. but um, the the books are always in, in top notch, near mint condition, man. Yep. So the next one we have to be Spawn 277. Again. Beautiful looking book, um, another spawn book. So we, I did find some spawns. So happy I found some. Uh, now the next book again is gonna be an awesome, awesome book. And you know we've been talking about this this series for a good while, and this is just getting hot because of the Mandalorian and stuff like that. So it's gonna be Star Wars number sixty eight. Again, beautiful looking book. Uh, it's a book that you should put on your radar for sure because this book is gonna is gonna scorch. So you have that book. Now the next book I have, guys, not for sale. Not, look, not for sale. It's very high grade. Um, and it's crazy because we found it, and you know I will say this. You know, it's just it was priced perfect for us. Uh, it is gonna be Ultimate Fallout number four. Uh, again, near. I mean, this thing is flawless. Uh, so it, if you guys don't know, it's gonna be the first appearance of Miles Morales. It could be a book that you know they got high. I could be wrong. Um, I, it could just be just a regular book. Uh, but I think it's a damn damn good book. Um, and in this book, that the next book we have here, it's gonna be a book that typically, if I see it, I will pick it up all all the time. It's gonna be Amazing Spider-Man number four, the first appearance of Silk. Again, you know, very high grade, beautiful looking book. Um, you know, this book is just if I see it, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. So a lot of these books, man, we're we're actually reloading to 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 hoard again in a sense because yeah. we we've, we sold a lot of these in the auction. Yeah. The next book I have is gonna be Hulk number one. And this is actually going to be pretty cool because it's going to be the DF Dynamic Force variant. And it's actually signed right here. 
Um, it is signed. It's going to be the first appearance of the Red Hulk. Um, I didn't know too much about this book, but when I saw it was signed and it's the Red, Red Hulk, I started doing a little bit of research and I just, I had to pick it up. I mean, when you, when you have a book that's already signed. Not just that, the place that we went to, man, the, the gentleman is very, very sharp, knows the stuff, man. So yeah. a lot of the stuff that, and, and it's hard to trump Manny and probably Paul on stuff. And there's some stuff that he doesn't know and he'll look at us like, you're going to pass up on that? Yeah, he makes me think twice in, in a good way. Uh, the next book we picked up, and this one you have seen in one of our auctions. I did sell one of the uh, one of the, the covers that but wasn't not, signed. Not the one that that not not the one the one in I think there's 500 of these. No, no, no. Uh, this is a uh, well. This is limited to one one in 50. Uh, 150. I'm sorry. So yeah, this is gonna be signed by Bill uh, Sinkovich. Sinkovich. That's how you say it. Yeah, and thanks to you know big ups to Jay Bliss because he helped us pronounce that yeah. again. Beautiful, dope looking uh, Doom cover. Uh, this is a beautiful looking book. So this book. is, a, this is a, the, the one that's very limited to just 150, right? That's what it says in the back. Uh, okay. Sign one, you know, one out of 150. Um, and again, that book is very This is another grade. one we were going to pass up. That one and the other one. I wasn't going to pass up on it. He was. And, no and he was it. like, okay. No, I wasn't going to pass up on it. That's a, I know what that book is. All right, so the next book we have would be Spider-Man Alpha. And this is just some dope, dope connected covers. So we do have this cover. And we have the Spider-Gwen cover, of course. And, and for the most part, these were pickups for, for my daughter. Um, and, you know, yes, Spider-Woman. I'm probably going to go to the Twins now, man. The Twins are going to trump uh, my niece. And one more. So these connecting covers are, are damn awesome. I saw the full set, so I had to pick it up. Um, now this next batch of books, um, and it is, this, this is pretty upsetting in a way. It's kind of, it kind of disappointed me because this is his main thing, The Walking Dead. Yeah. And he was he didn't know much about this it, i i did it in the sense because of, you know when i when i collected my my first few runs uh, the very first one I, I i pieced together the second one walked into the shop completely full run yeah um i wasn't really digging what manny's gonna show but we went purposely looking for walking dead for jay blitz for jay blitz and i was able to find some really low numbers for him i think three of them that he needed to plug his uh, run and I, I just picked up these for, for well, Manny, Manny said, pick these up. All right, and the next book again, another Walking Dead. We be Walking Dead number two, and this is going to be, again, a second print. So, you know, I, I saw these, and I just, I figured I'm going to pick them up. Second prints, third prints. Uh, typically, you know, they're usually lower print. Yeah. Uh, we do have uh, Walking Dead number 99. This will be, again, the second print. And 100, the third print. So, again, Walking Dead, you know. That's gonna be his main thing, so kind of looked out for him on, on that one. Now, the next batch of book, guys, it's, it's nothing special. It's just a whole bunch of whole bunch hoax. of hoax, high grade, super high grade. Um, and this is just to keep in the PC. Uh, yeah. Start plugging in the the Hulk run uh, again. I need that Hulk one. Hit me up. Hit him up. The next one we have to be Thor, God of Thunder number six. Again, this is another book that's getting super hot because of you know. Everything with, with Noah was getting hot, and you know this whole run basically kind of introduced uh, a little bit, somewhat that 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 conversation of no. And no, the, the Necrosword. Yeah, so this is a damn good book to pick up. Um, and this is the one that Punch, uh, it just it just melts over this book. Yeah, he loved that book. Now the next book we picked up is gonna be an indie, and this book, you know, this has been confirmed to be on the show. It's already in season two. And that could you picked this one up right before they announced the trailer because it started to go up again. Very high grade Umbrella Academy. It's gonna be the free comic book day one without the stamp, and that's what you need to look for. Make sure it doesn't have a stamp. So this would be a nice book to pick up. Um, anytime we do see that book, which is kind of rare, we do try to pick it up. Uh, the next book I picked up is gonna be a Star Wars book. Again, it's gonna be just a Darth Maul number one, a variant cover. This is a dope looking cover, and I think you know it might go for something. But honestly, I just love the damn cover. Yeah. So a lot of this, the, the, all this is PC stuff, man. Again, yeah. it won't. We buy PC stuff. We'll buy uh, collections and stuff for auction. So a lot of stuff that goes to PC, you won't, you won't see it, man. Yeah. The next one we pick is gonna be Batman. Um, what number is this? Five sixty seven, guys. And I'll put the information below. Uh, this is the first appearance of, and I forget her name, um, but it is gonna be a first appearance of a. Uh, of a bat, a Batwoman or Batgirl. So, again, awesome book. This one here I picked up because I'm just a sucker for this cover. It's gonna be Batgirl number 12, the Art Germ variant. I don't really see this book too often out in the wild, so I knew I had to pick it up. Um, dope cover. Now the next book is gonna be one that honestly it's and 
no introduction needed, but I think, you know, most of, for, for the most part, people love this book. And it's going to be Why the Last Man, number one, first print. Uh, again, we found this book there at that shop. You know, really glad I found it because now, you know, this book is it's in the PC. So it might need to get pressed and cleaned all that good stuff and get graded. Yeah, and, and this is a book that recently got hot too, man. And uh, I was I was thinking about gra grabbing one, you know, because sometimes you want to jump on a hype train, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't because I'm, I'm not... You know, I don't really go for that stuff, but sometimes you start seeing it on feeds and this and this, and you don't want to miss that 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 opportunity to pick up a book for it to get stupid hot. Yeah. So, uh, no, this book goes for the it, it, it goes it, for the money. And, it's, no, it's but so I mean, but just to have it now, just to have it, and it looks like it's it's near mint. It doesn't need a press and clean. Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know if it'll be a nine point eight, but I don't really care. I mean, it's just a book that 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 I know has potential, and we're able to get it at really. Really good price. Good price. Uh, the next books I picked up, and though I have a certain theme, but it's gonna be Nightmare on Elm Street number one. Uh, I found I saw these and I figured I gotta pick them up because a lot of these horror horror covers, a lot of, a lot of these horror books, uh, believe it or not, people don't love giving them up, and they can go for a little bit of money, you know. So I did pick up that one. I did also pick up a Nightmare on Elm Street: The Beginning number one. Awesome book. Number two. These are books that, that if you do find, like these little runs, I would Me just pick too. them up. Um, they are kind of hard to find. Yeah, this actually goes in with the other one. This is going to be Nightmare on Elm Street number two. So, again, you know, this was a whole batch that was together, so I, I just had to pick it up. Nightmare on Elm Street number three. Again, uh, just kind of looks like I'm trying to complete the run, I guess, at this point. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street number four. And Nightmare on Elm Street number five. So... And number six. So again, you know, it's there. Why not pick them up? Uh, again, you know, these, these are books that you should kind of put on your radar. Um, you really don't see them too often, and, and, and I guess some people don't really talk about them too much. But if you know, you know, you 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 know to pick them up. It just makes sense. Now the next book we picked up, and it's a very high grade. It's probably needs to get for sure. I think slabbed eventually in the future. It's gonna be There's Teenage, no rush. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number number two, the uh, first print. At a very high grade so again you know this is a, a really really dope book um if you find a high grade even better um the one that's still kind of out there you know being let's we're gonna get you pretty soon to be that number one yeah number one has been on our list too and again that's that's another one of those books but the good thing about that one is that you can actually get it at a really really good grade and it's still very expensive but it's worth it, I think. Uh, so the next one we picked up is going to be a slab. We did pick up a slab while we were there. And it's going to be a very beautiful looking Venom. The end number one. Clean Crane. 9.8 uh, CDC Blue Label. Um, all the work is done. Um, when I saw it, I just had to pick it up. So I'm, I'm a big fan of Venom. But whenever, you know, and Clean Crane is another artist I dig a lot. So this is really worked out big and, time. And this is another book that, that recently just started just popping out of nowhere. I, I think the signed one. By go for him. Money. Uh, it's pretty pricey so the only thing this one will probably need to fetch is that signature uh, because I, I, I dig signatures and I, and I was telling Manny I'm like once yeah. you have a 9.8 and you can get a signature while, while they are still alive might as well do it because you already have a that, that grade secured you know yeah now the last book we saved it for last for a good reason because we did find this out there in the wild too and it's a major major grill and big props to my brothers who this was outside of Dallas. Oh, hey, I'm, no, I'm that's already too, too much info. Too many, too many hints. Uh, so this book right here is a major, major grow. It's a major banger. It's a it's a raw book, but I think it does need to go get graded and all that good stuff. It, it will. This one will get graded simply because. Let's get rid of this real quick. Um, hey, that's a never ending box. Bro. Let me just drop. Um, it'll be Avengers number one. Big time grow. Um, to be quite honest with you, I put this one on a low end at a at a five point. Big grade. Yeah, it's about a, it looks like at least a 5.0. Very, very sharp colors. Beautiful looking colors. It was colors. super undergraded where we bought it from. Um, and again, it's just too much information. You know, they don't need to know that. Um, <laughs> we uh, we lucked out. I'm talking about this is this is this was probably the the best the best thing that's come out of 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 this. Yeah, this whole pickup. Big, big time pickup, man. It was this book, and this was the first thing we went to go pick up. So um, big ups on on that pickup, man. This is, this is a hell of a damn book. Again, Avengers 1, um, it's a book that honestly, you know, either, you know, I think you should have in your collection if you can put it in your collection. Yeah, um, and this this is this will be number two for us too, man, on, on this one. And 
Yes. It's a great book. Um, I've always recommended this one. This is a, this is a big time grow. It's actually kind of dipped a little bit. That's kind of when you want to pick them up. Um, yeah. None the least, man, has a lot of a lot of appearances in in the very first one. Um, the whole team up is, is awesome, and the movie was great. So yeah. so pick it up right now that it's kind of kind of gone down a little bit because again, man, the Marvel Universe uh, movies Disney. They're not going anywhere for the next 20 years, man. So as long as they're around, they're going to keep driving these these numbers up. Yeah. And if they're on your list, then you're only going to be doing yourself uh, a disservice by not picking them up while you can. Because, again, you don't want to grab these books when they when they get blazing hot, you know, like the Saturday night key unit auction. Yeah. It's mucho fuego. Yeah. So, all right, guys. This was a pretty crazy, awesome picker for us. Um, and this was all in one day. Somehow we managed to do all this in one day. Um, again, we did some damage. A lot of stuff needs to go get graded, pressed and cleaned, all that good stuff. But in due time, for the most part, you know, this was epic for us. Um, no comments about sell me something, man. I mean, no, not for some. I'm going to block you from, from YouTube, man. <laughs> and with that, guys, you got Chino, you got myself Manny, and we're out.